All right, thanks a lot, Mariella. And on the windward side of the island, some people decided to spend their Labor Day out on the water. Leland Kim is back from Kaneohe to tell us what went on at the sandbar. Steph, the rowdiest party on the island today was probably at the sandbar in Kaneohe Bay. Combine boats, water, music, and beverages, and you got the recipe for a rockin' good time. The Ukoka family gets ready for an annual tradition, hanging at the sandbar on Labor Day. It's time away from work, you know, you just you relax out there, you just have a good time. We play football, we eat, <laughs> and we swim. Okay. Check out good. And check out girls. Yeah, check out Is that the best part? <laughs> the sandbar is located several miles off of Kaneohe Bay. To get there, you need a boat to haul you, your friends, and a day's worth of grinds. But if you're an expert stand-up paddleboarder like this young lady, you can bring you and your refreshments no problem. What makes a sandbar unique is you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, standing literally in two feet of water. But you gotta come prepared. A dress shirt and slacks just ain't gonna cut it. Think of it as a cross between MTV Spring Break and Baywatch Hawaii. Awesome. This is like the best day of the year. We're celebrating uh, four birthdays today. We got the DJ. Everybody's just kind of mingling, having a good time. Folks were barbecuing, dancing to the music, and just frolicking in the water. It's the best place to get suntan, be with all your friends, drink, have fun, chill. Lots of people come, so you get to see everyone you haven't seen for a while. And these folks say a party in the middle of the ocean is the only way to spend Labor Day. This is amazing. It's like, it's the coolest place ever. I wish I could live here. I wish I never had to leave. <laughs> the Department of Land and Natural Resources say it's been a very orderly day. No reports of violations or any incidents. Just folks having a good time. Reporting live, Leland Kim, KHNL and K5 News. And by the looks of it, they definitely were having fun. Thanks a lot, Leland.